Do your Yankee Saints, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYU.com. Like always, all like a stars. Yankees fans, let's talk about the usual suspects, Machado and Harper. Let's talk about Manny Machado first because he's one of the players that the Yankees have indeed have had dialogue with. Manny Machado, people have told me that, that Manny himself doesn't even know where he's headed. So for the few Yankees fans out there that say, hey, shut up about Manny Machado. He's not signing with the Yankees. Uh, my question to you is, then what team is he signing with? You know what their answer is? Nothing. They don't know. So they can't sit here and say to other Yankees fans, because I've seen this, they get into arguments with the people that want Manny Machado on the Yankees. They're not going to have an answer. They're just going to tell you to shut up. Oh, shut up. Stop talking about Manny Machado. Uh, these are the New York Yankees. I don't know if you're a new Yankees fan or whatever. When you're playing in a big market like New York, specifically the Yankees, you're going to have a whole bunch of offers. It's going to help the ratings of the TV companies, the newspapers, magazines, etc. It helps everybody. It even helps me. It helps people talking about the Yankees. So no, I am not going to stop talking about Manny Machado because Manny Machado has not signed with any team yet. And I was told that the White Sox are losing hope in signing Manny Machado because their offer is, number one, low. And really, nobody wants to play for a team that lost 100 games last season. And sure, you could argue that they have one of the best minor league systems, but their supposed ace has undergone Tommy John surgery and they're not going to be a contender for years to come. So if Manny Machado wants to repeat his antagonizing losing in Baltimore, if you ask me, the Baltimore Orioles have a better fan base and they had opportunities to actually reach the World Series or win the World Series, it's going to be different. He's going to be in a different situation where he's going to lose a lot of games and he's not going to play for a contender. So we all know now the Padres were the mystery team. If you ask me... San Diego is the West Coast version of Miami. But does he want to play far away from his family? Again, the Padres are another rebuilding team. I will admit this. If the Padres offer Manny Machado more than $250 million, he's going to play with the Padres. But I was told if no team blows Manny Machado out of the water, that Manny Machado is going to come back crawling to the Yankees. The Yankees have said to have offered Manny Machado $170 million for seven seasons. Before you go crazy and say, wow, the Yankees are so cheap, it's a smart way to approach Manny Machado and his market. Where they set up that contract with, let's say, an opt-out after three or four years, and they're paying him a large portion of that contract up front. So in essence, they're approaching the situation where, hey, we're not going to get stuck with another large contract that Manny Machado proves he could play on the New York Yankees in New York. We'll re-sign him like we did with A-Rod in 2007. When A-Rod opted out of his original contract, he signed with the Texas Rangers and got another great deal with the New York Yankees. I can see the similar situation happening with Manny Machado. I mean, why not? The Yankees are a contender. You play with the Yankees, you prove you can play in New York. You're going to have all these sponsorships, these endorsements, even from Nike, because Nike is now partnered with Major League Baseball and a market like New York. You're going to see that money coming in, specifically with a company like Nike. No other city could say that. And the same thing I just said about Manny Machado, the same could be said about Bryce Harper. Also, I love Miguel Andujar, but Miguel Andujar, if you see his career stats in the minor leagues, he has never improved on his defense. He has about, what, close to 10 years where he absolutely does not improve on defense, and I highly doubt he's going to improve on his defense. Manny Machado is 26. Manny Machado wants to play in the Bronx. His family wants him here. He will deliver playing for the New York Yankees. It's not like one of these high-tiered free agents that could play anywhere. They ju they're just chasing the money. No, 
Manny Machado specifically wants to be a Yankee and he will produce and deliver in the Bronx. It's no secret the Yankees need an attitude like Manny Machado or Harper on their team. This team shows no attitude. We're seeing it. The Boston Red Sox and their franchise absolutely walked all over the Yankees. Manny absolutely hates Boston. I could see him hating other teams specifically just because of the fact he's a winner. He wants to win. We need that on this team. And how Steinbrenner specifically is coming around as Adam Ottavino has stated that really his deal was made because of how Steinbrenner, how Steinbrenner stepped in and got Ottavino signed. So who knows who's being stingy here? Is it Levine? Is it the analytical guys on the New York Yankees? I mean, it can't be them because Manny Machado has had the highest WAR in Major League Baseball for the past four years. So it can't be them. So who knows how Steinbrenner to me is putting out signals that he wants to go out there and prove to the fan base that he's not cheap how he actually is like his father and will deliver. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page, NY1.